guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. So today I'm about to expose the fuck out of myself. Once again, if you guys were here and have been a subscriber of mine since last Wednesday, I uploaded a video of me pretty much exposing my old Instagram posts, my old Facebook posts, and my old videos that I used to make when I was in an MLM. And now I decided I was going to do the same thing. I literally sat down and I was like, I'm going to do a part two. Then I was like, shit, I've got something better. Shout out to my girl, Ashley, though. She was unfortunately in my downline, but I love her. And she is a really close friend of mine now. And she ended up buying me this cup. It is cute. And I thought it was just fitting for this video to have our boss babe fuel to get us through the day. So today, Today, I'm going to walk you through a real and true day in the life of being in an MLM. More specifically, being in Beachbody. Bo, morning do with tea time. So the first thing I want you to know about being a Beachbody coach is they have what is called a success club tracker or a business activity tracker. I thought of going over this, but I didn't know if it was gonna be entertaining enough. So this is going to give you a good twist on that. So I just want you to know, you can Google that. Google Beachbody success club tracker or business activity tracker. And I will link it down below if you want to look at that. It's pretty funny. I will be relaying back to that during this video, but let's get into it. We are going to go into my information session and we are going to see what did I tell them about the first thing I do when I wake up. And then so first order of business is I woke up around 6 a.m. I grabbed my pre-workout. I grabbed my pre-workout snack. And then I came here into my office and because I work my business pretty much through Instagram, I emptied out my Instagram inbox. And I also looked at my to-do list for the day list or if I'm being honest and then the next thing that I do is get my workout in I'm a morning workout gal I like to get my workouts in in the morning if you like to get them like done later on that is totally fine too and if I'm being honest I used to not believe in at home workouts until I became a coach and I actually tried them I got better results than I did in the gym and it also saved me time and money so here is my little workout equipment my little workout spot I split up my office and made it into a workout area found that when I was going to the gym, I would make way more excuses to not go because of time, because of money and like everything else. So that is why I bought myself like weight bench weights and I did all that stuff because it actually ends up being cheaper. Um, so then we partner with a company called Beachbody and we utilize all of their workout programs. So we have over 70 plus workout programs in our library. I like to call it like a Netflix for fitness, just how you go on Netflix and you have all your shows. We go on out app to use our programs. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because this part doesn't matter, but did you hear how I said we partner with a company called Beachbody? No, but come on. I don't like that. So I did tell the truth. The first thing that I always did when I was in Beachbody, y'all, I would wake up so fucking early and guess what? I don't work a full-time job right now. I go to full-time school, which is why I don't work a job because I'm really trying to focus on graduating early, which I should be graduating this year, but I don't work a full-time job. I shouldn't have ever felt the need to wake up this early, but I did because I had so much shit to do for Beachbody that it literally felt like if I didn't wake up early enough, I would not have enough time in my day. Now I just love waking up early. But the first thing that I would always do is I would wake up, I would grab my stupid Beachbody pre-workout, I would pour it into the cup, and I would take a video of me pouring it into the cup. And then I would have to edit that and upload that onto Instagram stories to be a product of the product. Beachbody always Says, you have to be a product of the product. You have to show that you're using the products and that they work. So that's what I did with the pre-workout. Then I would come into my office, literally where I'm at right now, and I would, while drinking my pre-workout, because I usually would start drinking it and it would take 30 minutes to kick in. So I would, and by the way, I do like their pre-workout. Is It is good, honestly. But I would sit down and I would literally empty out all of my DMs, all of my questions I was getting from my downline, question I was getting from my clients, I even hate saying clients because it's so fake. Then I would get my workout in and my workouts usually range from 40 to 50 minutes when I was doing programs in Beachbody. So I would do my workout and guess what the fuck I would do after that? I would have to record workout moves. So that would take even more time out of my day, right? So still, I haven't done anything else but Beachbody woke up, did the pre-workout, took a photo of it, uploaded it, came to my office, took 30 minutes to empty DMs and answer questions from people in Beachbody. Body. Then I did my 40 minute workout and then I had to record workout moves and then I had to edit those workout moves on my phone and then I had to upload that to Instagram. All of that happened in the morning and it's like, mm -hmm. 
What about school? What about life? What about chilling and watching some Netflix in the morning? I love to do that. So then after my workout, let's see what I said I would do in this info sesh. Okay, so after my workout, I check in with my accountability group. This is my favorite part of coaching. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted, so I won't be able to play that song, but I pretty much scroll through and show people logging their workouts in my accountability group, but I say, this is where all coaches and clients come to log their workouts daily to stay accountable. So I'm pretty much trying to show people that every day I have to come and log my workout, which is true. After my workout, after I recorded my workout videos, and after I showered, I would take a selfie. Well, take a selfie before the shower, but I would take a selfie and uploaded it into this group. Then the next thing that I said I did was now I spent about six to eight hours on schoolwork. It's honestly like a full-time job. So from 12 to 7, I generally do not do anything related to coaching. I do want to be honest about something. I wouldn't just not do anything. I unfortunately had a downline. Yes, I recruited women into the amazing opportunity because I really did truly think that it was going to change my life and that it was going to be able to change other people's lives. But that was before I truly knew what MLMs were about and what Beachbody was about. It was really before I was educated. Literally during that time of school, I would have to keep stopping. I feel like every 30 minutes, to answer questions from new coaches, right? From new people I had recruited. I had to answer questions from clients. I had to feel the need to do pretty much not my schoolwork. Now, I sit down and I'm able to do just my schoolwork and not worry about anything else. Not have thoughts of, oh my God, did one of my recruits message me? Do they need help with something? Oh my God, do they need help signing someone up? Like it was like this nonstop thing. When these Beachbody coaches, when they like to make these videos of what they do in a day, they don't like to show all that. They'll be like, oh, for seven hours from 12 to six, I just chilled on the couch and didn't do anything. I just hung out with my kids. Boss babe, stop. That's not true because guess what? If one of the people they recruited into Beachbody had a question like, hey, I want to sign someone up right now. How do I do it? Or, hey, how do you access the workouts? Like whatever, you would have to be at your team's beck and call. Because if you weren't, guess what? Maybe they wouldn't like you. Maybe they want to quit. You always just feel the need to cater to those people asking you questions. Now that's personally just me. I know a lot of people who are high up in Beachbody who won't do that. They don't do it. So I always felt like I needed to answer them whenever they would message me. So it would really mess with my whole school schedule. So let's see on my thing, what was the next thing I told them that I would do? Told you I'd be back in six hours. You're probably so sick of hearing me talk now. <laughs> I could talk for days. Hence why I'm making a YouTube channel. Anyways, that has nothing to do with this. So. You guys see, I took about an hour in the morning to work on coaching. I did my 40 minute workout and then I pretty much did school all day. And tomorrow I'll talk a little bit about time and time management and stuff like that. But now at nighttime, after I'm done with all my schoolwork, which I am done, I try and take one more hour to really dedicate to coaching. So watch what we do as coaches, like the IGTV I posted today, you've already pretty much know what I do. Um, so since I did those things in the morning where I checked up with my coaches, my clients, did my workout, all of that, now I'm going to dedicate time to really like sharing this opportunity with people and how I do that is through social media. So I literally block out an hour where I come into my office. This is my cute little office space. Uh, but I come into my office and I work on my business. I tell my husband like, Hey, I need an hour. That is it. And I'll be done with coaching. Um, and I pretty much just share this opportunity with people. I invite people to join you know, as a client or in an information session just like this. And what's super cool about tonight is the whole entire team is hopping on. So the team is right there and we do what I like to call a power hour. And a power hour is just one hour at night where you're going at it. Like you're hustling and you're working the business, like in your office, in your bed, wherever you feel like doing it. Um, and most of the time I do these by myself. So I do these literally every single night, seven days a week, just one hour at Nighttime. So, Deanna Marie, could we count? Could we have a counter on how many times I said business? That's a little bit true, right? I would actually sit down for about an hour at night. And what sucks is, think about this I have been up since six o'clock in the morning working the business 
Y'all know what I mean, business. All morning. Then I spent some time on school where every 30 minutes, I was having to answer questions. I was having to be on my phone. I was always feeling that need to be on my phone at all moments of the day. You don't just get time off. You don't. You work 24 seven. You might as well go work a nine to five, right? You might as well. Because I would rather work a nine to five job, which these MLMers love to talk shit about. I would rather work at nine to five where I can clock in, clock out, clock in, clock out, and not have to worry about shit unless I'm clocked into work. So let's see what else I would do. Ooh, there is one thing I forgot. So you guys know how I say after I log my workout in that like accountability group, challenge group, whatever, I would shower, eat, and then I would always curate an Instagram post. So this is not anything out of the ordinary to what I do already. You guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I upload a lot. I upload usually every day of the week, maybe take one or two days off in the week, but I always upload on my Instagram stories, all of that jazz. Let me just show you an example of the kind of posts I would upload. So look at me with my pizza, thinking I know everything. It says, as you see my excitement for some gluten-free pizza was through the roof. The fact that I can follow a nutrition plan that does not restrict me from my now and then cravings is amazing. I can still enjoy the little things like a slice of pizza and not feel bad about myself afterwards. Being on a nutrition plan does not mean cutting out every little thing. It is honestly a way to learn how to get healthier, fuel your body, and control those cravings. Then you learn when you should indulge in something that you have been craving. You guys, I can do another video on this. Comment it down below. But Beachbody's nutrition plans, and I'm going to say, disclaimer, everything said in this video is my opinion. And Beachbody's nutrition plans literally starve you, allegedly. I will link down below a nutritionist who reviewed, or a dietitian, she's either or nutritionist or dietitian or both, whatever. She reviewed Beachbody's nutrition plans and it literally showed that they underfeed you, feel very restricted, and that's not okay. So I can go into further detail for those kind of things in another video. Now, like I said in the video, for what I do in a day, I would sit down and spend an hour doing all of the things I'm about to tell you. So in that hour, I would spend time responding to all new likes, comments, and story views from the previous day. And you guys, I'm not joking. I used to do that. I used to go back to the photo from the day before that I had uploaded, right? That curated fake post from the day before. And I would look at every individual who liked or commented on that photo and I would message them. I may not have invited them, but maybe I just messaged them to get to know them. Maybe I gave them a follow, chat with people that were similar to me, right? And then I would go to my stories. You guys, personally, right now, I get a lot of people who view my stories. I get over 500 people who view my stories, okay? I would never have enough time and day to scroll down through my stories and message every single person. Who would have time for that? Who would have time? Please tell me because it would not be me and it would not take me an hour to do that. But I would block out like 20 minutes to respond to all new likes, comments, and views. The next thing I would do is invite at least five people to my challenge group, which is that accountability group, essentially meaning you're gonna invite people to be a client or to join the opportunity. So this would be the time where I would send those messages. I was actually never someone who just sent a cold message. Like here's someone I've never talked to, I've never had a conversation with, and I am in their DMs. That's not me. I would always invite someone that I had at least spoken to before. So I would invite at least five people. And let me tell you, when this tracker says to invite five people, most Beachbody coaches, I know a lot of them, guys. I have watched a lot of them. I was a coach for two years. I know the ins and outs. Most of them would invite 50 or more a day. That doesn't take two hours. That takes way longer than that. So Beachbody coaches need to stop saying you can fit this business into pockets of your time because you can. So the next thing I would do is follow up with people I have invited before. So anyone, and I mean, think about that. Two years where every day you're inviting people. You know how many people? that is to follow up with. You know how many? It is a lot of people. I literally, actually, I should have took a photo of it, but I just went through my office drawers from when I was in Beachbody and I had eight thick ass notebooks of people's Instagram handles and names of who I invited. That is like insane 
to me, okay? So I would have to follow up with people I invited before and that takes so much effort and so much work and it's draining. These things are not fulfilling. These things are not fun. They're freaking draining, okay? So when these coaches are so happy to show that and like, yay, I'm working my business, you know, right now, it's not what it looks like. It's not all cute outfits, chilling with your boss babe fuel, just mm -hmm, so happy. No, it's not like that. It's literally the most draining, unfulfilling thing you could possibly do. Then I have a couple more things. I would also, again, answer client or coach questions. When building a team, if you are someone that is in an MLM and you have a team below you and you actually give a fuck about them, like I know, oh, oh I hate talking about this, guys. I'm so sorry I did recruit into Beachbody. I really did think it was a great opportunity when I was in it. I realized it wasn't and I told all of the people I had recruited what I had found, the information I found, and literally 98% of us all quit together because I and them also felt like we were being brainwashed. So we have a good ending to that story, but I would answer questions. And when you're building a team, that is so hard. They always want you to build a team, right? And they always say to you, but then think about how many people you're answering questions to, like the same questions over and over and over and over and over. And you are spending hours of your day answering people's questions. It just makes no sense to me. You're, and I'm going to be real right now. You're making zero dollars doing that. You're not making money. You're not signing people up. You're not making commission. You're literally not doing any of that by answering questions. Go work a real job. Go open up your own business where you can make real and actual money. There are so many ways you can make money and this isn't one of them. These are not fulfilling. And then the last thing I would do is engage in 20 minutes or more of personal development. You guys, personal development was the worst thing ever. They want to always blame you when you're in Beachbody or in any MLM. They're going to blame you if you fail. They're going to say you didn't work hard enough. You're not good enough. You didn't do enough personal development, do more. Personal development, all they would tell you to do is personal development. If you went and you asked your upline, like if I went to my upline and I was like, girl, I am really struggling. Like I am having a hard time. I'm not recruiting people. I'm not signing people up with the programs. And that's what I want to do. I want to help people. You know what she would say? Well, you're being negative. Go do some personal development. Or she would ask, when was the last time you did personal development? And I was like, bitch, it has nothing to do with personal development. It has nothing to do with it. Nothing. Zil Personal development will only get you so far. I do believe in personal development in everyday life. Listen to books. Listen to things that are going to motivate you and help you get through things that you're struggling with. If you're struggling with time management, go read a book on time management. Go do something. Be productive if you're struggling with something. But personal development is not going to be the end-all be-all. And these MLMs try and make you feel like it is and... It is so stinking annoying. So as you guys can see, and hopefully you guys liked seeing all of this, but as you can see, doing an MLM takes hours and hours and hours of your day. It's unfulfilling things that you're doing. I was not doing anything fulfilling, now I am. Now social media is essentially a job to me. I love social media. I love being on YouTube and talking in front of a stinking camera right now. That's what I'm doing camera and I'm by myself just speaking. I love it. I love Instagram. I love uploading photos and talking to people and helping people and bonding with people. That's what I love. I don't love sliding into DMs, inviting people to this fake ass opportunity, inviting people to Beachbody's programs that I've seen dietitians say it's not good for anyone. It's not going to give you a good relationship with food. So again, what was fulfilling about this? I want you guys to comment down Below. Did you think anything that I just said sounded fulfilling? Maybe the working out, you know, you got up, you did your workout, you're becoming healthier maybe. That was the only good thing about Beachbody was I did like the workouts. I didn't like the nutrition plans. They were very restrictive and they really did give you a bad, or they can give you a bad relationship with food. But their workout programs were really, 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 really great. I'm not going to fault them on that. But everything else was unfulfilling. And doing it for two years was extremely, extremely extremely draining. Looking back, again, I always feel like when I'm looking back on my old posts and stuff, how much time, oh my god, I'm gonna get emotional. How much time did I waste? And you guys were awesome in my last video. You got you were like, you didn't waste time. If it wasn't for you going through that experience, you wouldn't be here today. And you wouldn't be on YouTube today. And that's 
True. So I do want to let you guys know if you ever, ever see an MLM -er or Beachbody stinking rep saying that they only work their business in pockets of time or they don't do anything, you know, that takes a long time, send them this damn video. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. If you have any more ideas for a video like this, anything else you want me to walk you through from my experience in Beachbody, do not forget Monday's video. I did have a giveaway announcement and the giveaway is still going. Just make sure to go to the video from Monday about an It Works rep begging for sales. It was such a great video and don't forget to like this video by liking this video it really does help support me every like and every comment that I get really does help YouTube share my video with more people onto YouTube so by you liking it and commenting and engaging it does show YouTube that this is a good video and that we should be sharing it with more people and that they should be sharing it with more people so don't forget to do that don't forget to subscribe for more content like this I upload videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday and I will see you guys in our Friday Horror Stories video. Bye guys. <laughs>